Welcome to this brief overview of Harness Infrastructure as Code Management. In this demo, we'll take a look at how platform engineering teams can enable developers to make changes to environments, the infrastructure as code, without having to learn new languages and frameworks. Here, we're looking at a workspace. A workspace tells us about an environment. This environment has two AWS instances, an S3 bucket, and some networking configuration. For each of our resources, we can drill in and see all of our attributes. Developers can then make their changes by manipulating variables, which are exposed by the platform engineering team. In this environment, I am set up as a developer to make changes to the name of my S3 bucket, some extra tags, and the instance type. Now, Let's say I wanted to change my instance type from small to large. I just come in here and type T2 large. Now we have an interesting error here. It's saying that it will not save this variable because the instance type cannot be T2 large. Platform engineering team can set restraints or policies on what variables can be set. So this team has said large servers are too expensive. Don't do that. On the other hand, if I was to change the size of my instance from a small to a micro, it's going to let me do that. Now let's take a quick look at applying this change and seeing what that experience is. For that, we're going to go bring up an infrastructure as code pipeline. I've named this one provision. So we're going to have a provision phase and it's going to run a Terraform plan, ask me to approve that plan, and then apply that change out to the environment. Let's go ahead and run this. So we'll click run, choose our normal inputs, and start it. All right, my pipeline is off and running. So we'll do some initialization, then pull down our Terraform scripts out of Git, spin up Terraform, execute the plan steps to decide what's going to change, and that brings us to the approval. I come over here and review the change. What we see is a couple of key things. First, our changed items. Both of my AWS instances are flagged as changing. The S3 bucket and the networking are not. They're flagged as unchanged. If I want to know more about my change, I click in, work through the attributes, and we'll see that the instance type is moving from small to micro, just as we planned. Furthermore, I can see the cost change that moving from a small to a micro will save me about half the cost of the instances. And that'll be the same for both. This all looks about as expected, and I can approve this change. In the real world, we might have a different person allowed to run the workflow rather than approve it. Now my change will actually be applied out into the environment. As that completes, let's take a look at some other key capabilities. As we look out at our workspace, where we made our change to the configuration, we can see that there's an execution history, all of the provisioning activities that I've taken. I can also drill into my environment state. With state, Harness keeps the environment state files securely and centralized, so I can come back and see the state of my environment at any time. Importantly, I can compare with a prior version so I can look at how things are changing. This is critical in a debugging scenario. When something is going wrong, I can inspect and say, well, what was the environment like when things were healthier? Oh, I was running a small server rather than a micro. Maybe with more compute, this instance would be running better. I have that easily at my fingertips for remediation. Thank you for checking out this quick overview 
of Harness Infrastructure as a Code Management.